This is um, The Witch in the Glen. This is a reading for the Divine Feminine. Um, that card went ahead and popped out. So I'm gonna start with that. That's lovely, the star. Um, one of my favorite cards. It is a dream come true. So let's see um, and more on that as we go through. Um, this is a channeled, creative, intuitive reading. Um, I am a psychic medium. I'm a star seed. Um, I am a spiritual channeler. Um, so let's get some more cards here. What else can you tell us about this star quantum field? These cards um, are so perfectly slippery in the right way, and they're so thick, but um, I never want to bend them. So it's, they're a little bit dicey to shuffle with. This is, a, this is one of my favorite decks, by the way. Um, if you want to get into tarot, want to get your end deck, this is a great um, starter deck. It's super approachable and has good energy. Okay, what else can we see about this star? Holy Spirit, what else can we see? What else can you tell us about this star card? Let's high priestess in there first. Whew. Knight of Wands in reverse. Ooh, the devil, the chariot, two of cups, four of cups, ace of cups. Okay, we lost our place. All right, that's it. <laughs> Let's see here. Let me put, let me see what we've got here. We've got um, the star, the high priestess. That is our queen card here. High Priestess, the Devil, and the Chariot. Two of Cups in reverse, Four of Cups in reverse, and the Ace of Cups. Um, so High Priestess is a, is a powerfully connected spiritual, um, she, it, she might be a guru, she might be a witch, um, psychic, very strong, powerful psychic powers. Um, she's, this is a high arcana, major arcana card. Um, and she's, a, this is a feminine card and feminine and masculine here um, <clears throat> are used to describe um, energies, not gender. Um, so when we say that we're really talking about um, frequency and vibration and quantum physics and kind of cool stuff, but um, we are playing with colors and stories here, not not the um, numbers behind them. So um, an easy way that we have developed to be able to understand these polarities, one of the, the lens that we have sort of, that we as society is kind of focused around is that gender um, has this masculine and or feminine quality to it. Um, and, but there are these forces in the universe, likewise, like the yin and yang, and, um, you know, light and dark, everything dualistic, it's one of these forces in, in the universe. Um, and the feminine energy is, the divine feminine energy is extremely strong. Okay. Um, so the Knight of Wands, that is a, but the High Priestess is in reverse here. So that's what we've got to figure out. We've got the Devil over here that always catches my eye. That's about, um, let me see. So a Knight of Wands is a message, a quickly moving message, um, or a quickly moving action, um, not a message, the Page of, we have a page of, page of Pentacles, that's an, that's a message about um, abundance or money or 
Um, it could be a job, it could be um, something substantial, it could be, um, but it's a message about something like that. So there's a Knight of Wands in reverse where there's this quickly moving energy, but it is kind of haphazard. Um, and um, the Page of Pentacles, the one who is what the so the page of pentacles i think she's trying to bring um this pinnacle to the people and there is this devil energy that is keeping her from being able to do it because this devil energy is like addiction it is um it can be like embracing the pleasures of life in such a way that like it's all the you know seven deadly sins whatever gluttony um lust uh avarice etc etc all that stuff kind of goes into the devil card it's these influences that we all have from the dark side that um that when in balance we really minimize but sometimes they you know, you see these chains here of the devil. Um, sometimes they can get their hold on on you. So um, it looks like this high priestess is in this devil kind of energy. And there's a chariot in reverse, which is a failed um, or like a, it is a incoming um, massive change that's coming in. Um, like news, um, incoming it's just like the biggest kind of uh, culminating sort of transformation that is coming in fit fast. So all of this is coming in fast, but it's in reverse. And so it's kind of maybe too fast. Uh, so, um, so what I'm getting, there's like this dream come true. And, but we have this high priestess who is in reverse energy um, as she's trying to bring this message and transformation to the people um, and there's this devil energy that's like things that are holding her back um, and there's this chariot which is which is like this um, this tidal wave of transformation coming in quickly moving energy all of this is moving very fast there's a two of cups in reverse which is like a um that is a love offer the two of cups um is a specifically it's a lot of times a proposal of some kind um it's friends uh coming into union a new friendship um a new relationship and um, here it is in reverse. And so I'm seeing the like little kundalini snake here. And so I'm seeing that this is a romantic thing, not a friendship thing. And it's in reverse. So an offer or a union that kind of went sour. Um, it didn't quite work out. And then we have the four of cups in reverse. The four of cups is kind of, yeah, when she has on this sweatshirt that says over it. So it's like, the four of cups is an emo it is a cup the cups are representative of these emotions um and so it's like this happened and it soured and then there was this energy of like we're just over it it's not we can't um can't keep going with it um but then there is this like nice um that is a nice card to see there after this story um oh um, that's sweet. The Ace of Cups, um, the Ace of Cups is, um, is, uh, the beginning of a new love, a new, um, movement in your development. It's a relationship card. A lot of times it is a proposal, um, so this one, the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups are actually kind of similar, but um, but the Ace of Cups is really about the, and a 
hand of God kind of coming in with this overabundance of love flowing out. And then we have our King of Cups here, which is the masculine. And so I'm seeing that this is our divine feminine here who's been going through this um, reverse chariot charged energy and um, kind of hit this sour point. But then there is this Ace of Cups, which is coming in with the King of Cups um, and judgment. I felt like that was in reverse when it came out. I didn't want it to be because for some reason, but um, um, let me go to the book for judgment right now because that was a weird reaction I had. Um, I'm just gonna get. At points in our lives, we can feel like there's something pulling us to change. Judgment calls down to us in the form of, benevol of, a, of a benevolent angel and pre presents us with the crossroads on her banner. Hmm. Not about judging others, but judging yourself. There are times to be kind to yourself, and then there are times for some tough love. Now is one of those times. Okay, so here, so this you know, moment of judgment is this culminating energy and it is in reverse. So it's almost like here it comes charging in with this Ace of Cups, um, King of Cups. The King of Cups is bringing in this sort of reversed judgment, like a harsh kind of um, reality. And um, we have the Magician card, which is somebody who is capable of great alchemy, of transformation of energy from one state to another, transforming energy from unconscious to conscious. Um, as with any reading, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, if this isn't ringing true for you, or if any of it kind of gives you a weird icky feeling of kind of this faint fear or full on kind of pit in your stomach fear, that means that this reading is, uh, is meant to be a trigger for you. So this is a shadow side reading if it's making you feel like that and you do not have to watch, um, stuff that is triggering your shadow side. Um, or, and you don't have to take it in is sort of the, the point. Um, okay. The magician we have, let me get some room here. Um, so we have the magician, the king of wands, the eight of swords, um, the magician is our alchemist or king of wands is this very um, powerful, uh, dominant, um, masculine figure who is capable of great transformation. Often the wands, de wands suit is associated with sexuality, while um, cups can be emotion and um, romantic love and love in general. Um, wands, when it's uh, to do with relationship stories. It is a lot of times some sexual energy there. Um, eight of swords in reverse. Like that's, that's not good. It's like precarious situations. Tell us more about this eight of swords. So I'm getting that this is our King of Wands is our mag magician, is our Eight of Swords. I think that's our King of Cups here. So I think this is kind of getting into this story. So we have our, our King of Cups who is a magician, an alchemist, also in a, who's done in a King of Wands energy of transformation, gets into this Eight of Swords energy, this precarious, um, position of some precarious situation. 
Um, and then we have the Nine of Wands and the Page of Swords. Um, he gets into a, this precarious um, situation where it might be dangerous, there's a lot of pain possible, a lot of collateral damage that could be happening, but you're stuck in it and just kind of a um, sitting duck. And we also have here the Nine of Wands, which is sort of gathering all of your strength, gathering all of your resources, um, and you're ready to go make some big changes. So our King of Wands is getting into his Wands energy there. And then we have a Page of Swords, which is, um, which is a judgment and offer. Um, it is, can sometimes be a, and can be a conflict. Page of Swords in reverse, that does read to me more as like a con conflict um, that happened. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the Seven of Cups is kind of evaluating your resources um, and having an abundance of different skills and different skills and abilities and different types of resources at your disposal and being able to kind of step back and know that you'd work for all of these and helped and you did all the alignment to bring all of these into, um, into crystallized um, where you can imbibe any any that you choose and you're in control but the seven of cups is in reverse so that tells me that it's like those skills and things like that are actually spilling over and being kind of wasted like it's like overwhelming to the person um instead and that's causing it's like there are too many options too many options of how to proceed here and um we have like a four of swords here which is you know i think that's that seven of cups energy the hanged one yep <laughs> um and there's our uh the hanged one <laughs> so that this energy this masculine energy is in um is in hanged man energy that is where we have the magician or king of wands this is seven of cups overflowing um kind of frozen <laughs> they tried to take action and um let's see my cards are very okay mm. ace of pentacles that is um, an incoming uh, news, incoming offer, something new, some new initiative, new energy of a project. Um, a, it could be um, like a house, buying a new house, something like that. Um, but it's in reverse, so it's something like that that didn't really go well. And then there's like a six of wands. And I'm going to go to our, I think, you know, this is like, coming away victorious um it's coming away victorious um a v for victory you've just won a big battle and now you can enjoy the rewards your admiring supporters cheer you on in a victory parade since you've just accomplished something big success is yours enjoy the, your moment and let your ego get that boost so um that's a nice little so let's see any anything more there's an uplifting tone here at the end Emperor in reverse. Wow, so this has been a really trying scenario. Here's this, this sun card popped out over here. So I think there's supposed to be a happy ending, but it's like the energy keeps kind of circling and circling. Um, like it's like the story keeps telling itself. And I think, you know, we keep getting to little, what could be end points and then um, we've gotten some more information and more color, but it's the same message. And here we have the sun card coming out. That's like, okay, all right, you've, we've given you judgment. <laughs> we've given you king of cups, ace of cups, the hanged one. And now we're going to give you, um, 
and the magician, I could have stopped on that too, but we're gonna give you the sun card that's like the happiest card in the deck. So abundant hope. Um, I'm gonna end the reading here. Thank you so much. Hit the like button if you enjoyed or if it resonates, if anything popped up for you or if it makes you feel like shit, hit the like button or dislike, whatever. Um, thank you so much.